All right, in this lesson, let's create a quick report from this raw data we have, and we will do it on a new sheet. So I will use sheet one, which is empty. And let's say that we want to get the only the successful transactions, the number of successful transactions per country and their total amount. So what I'm gonna do, I will copy column B and paste it here in column A and I will directly remove the duplicate values from the data tab, data tools, remove duplicates and then in column B I want the number of successful transactions and then in column C sum of successful transactions in other words with functions we are going to achieve what we can achieve using pivot tables so let's see how to do this and the first thing that we will review in this lesson is how to make a reference to sell to cells in other sheets the general rule is that we need to type in the name of the other sheet and of course in our case we only have two sheets but in a real world workbooks you may have who knows 50 100 sheets but the good thing is that we cannot have two sheets with the same name so the general rule again is the name of the sheet followed by an exclamation mark so for instance what if in cell e7 of this new sheet I want to see here what is the value of cell let's say C20 in sheet data so I can type in the equal sign and type in data and then an exclamation mark C20 so Excel returns 1977 so let's quickly go back to sheet data and if I scroll to cell C20 I can see the same number here so this is the way to refer to cells in another range in another sheet and we can for instance directly sum all the values that we have in column C so we know that we have values from the second row to row 101 if I'm not mistaken so for instance if I wanted to see that this number here in this cell in the new sheet sheet 1 I can use the sum function and then this will be from cell C2 to C101 in our example however we need to get the number of successful transactions per country and then the sum of successful transactions so the first example these are two conditions because we will have to filter only the successful transactions and then the countries in other words we will have to use the count ifs function and the customer countries are in column B and then the status as this is in column E so let's write this and I have selected cell B2 and I will type in the equal sign and directly in the formula bar let's start writing count ifs criteria range 1 well let's make a reference to sheet data and I will first filter only the successful transaction so the statuses were in column E so from E2 all the way to E101 now I will we will be copying the formula down the rows so I want to use absolute references here and I will select this part of the function and click F4 to lock and to use absolute references comma the criteria for this first range is the string successful comma criteria range 2 
again I want to make a reference to sheet data and the countries were in column B so from B2 to B101 and once again I would want to use absolute references here because I will copy the formula down the rows comma and the criteria range for this second range is what I have in this sheet in column A so in the first example this is Portugal so I will simply type in here A2 comma and I will click enter Excel returns 3 and I can make a double click here so now let's write the sum ifs function too and I will type in the equal sign and write some ifs and uh, let's check the arguments for a sum ifs function well, we have some range this is what we have in column C here right so some ifs some range and then we have criteria range 1 and its criteria and then we will have criteria range 2 and its criteria well this seems familiar doesn't it this is exactly what we have for account ifs functions arguments and because I'm lazy I don't want to have to type this from scratch I will select what I have in the arguments for account ifs function and click control C so I don't have to type this over uh, once again and now let's write the sum ifs function the sum range this is again I would want to make a reference to sheet data and the sum range were all cells from C2 to C101 and once again because I will be copying the formula down the row so I want to use absolute references here so select this part and click F4 comma and now I will click Control V to paste what I what I copied close the parentheses and click enter Excel returns 2182 for Portugal and I can make a double click here it seems that for some countries with the random functions that I used it shows zero and we can quickly go back to the data sheet to verify this so I will verify this for Hungary I would want to filter only Hungary here and as we can see all transactions are with status declined so this is what the random functions that I used which we're going to check later in the course have decided for Hungary all right in the next lesson we will take a look at alternative syntax which will get us the same result